I am Joanna, a member of the faithful remnant church of these end times. I will let you read through the through what Jesus has said in the Gospel of Mark, chapter thirteen. Take heed, watch and pray, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his servants in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Watch therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crow, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, watch. Now the same Jesus has spoken through his two witnesses, Petrus Romanus and Mary Romanus, and explained the scripture passage from his throne in heaven. Jesus said, and I quote, Lo and behold, I have come like a thief in the night to mark your souls for life. But alas, many of you are sleeping and not keeping present watch over your souls. Many of you have grown tired and weary from the battle, saying, I have worked for the Lord and paid my wages. I need a vacation from my normal active duty. I say to you now, it is not enough to give to the Lord part of your wages, but He desires all of it. I will treat you as a servant who tends my vineyard, or I will treat you as a friend who desires eternal salvation. The choice is yours. Do not say to yourselves, Lo, my master is not returning until the dawn, so I will sleep and he will not know when I work or when I rest. This is vanity. I want you all to know that I am keeping careful watch over my vineyard and I am not pleased at what I am finding. Many of you have stopped working and are living a life of wealth, riches, luxury and lapping up the rest of your years on earth. Do not pride yourselves, I say, on what you have done for the Lord, but what you still can do with the time left. Know this, my sons, I am coming back soon, and I will render each of you accountable for his own words and above all his own heart. Where does each of your hearts lie? With me or with the world? The world can only offer you death and lies, but I came that you might have life and have it abundantly. Why do you reject your master? Do you not know that I love you? Have you not heard of my zeal for souls? You are mine, my sons, but only if you do my will, not man's will. Authority, wealth, honor, glory and dominion belong to God the Almighty Father. Do not trade your heavenly reward for a bowl of porridge that can be eaten right away. It will leave you with a feeling of emptiness. But go sell all you have and come follow me. I will lead you to eternal paradise and to the caves for safety. Practice listening to my voice now until I call you. Then you will bet then you will better be able to hear the angel who will lead you to the caves. There ends the message. And for those who are not yet a member of the faithful remnant, it would be good to look into this. And more than ever believers were added to the Lord, multitudes both of men and women. Why so few to begin with? This is actually proof of our authenticity. What does the Bible say? In Isaiah, it's written, The remnant will be so few that a child can write them down. 
So it looks like this remnant perfectly fits that description now, doesn't it? So to all the scoffers out there who pretend to dismiss the two witnesses, Petrus Romanus and Mary Romanus, and their YouTube channel on the grounds that our numbers are too few, that scripture passage is for you. Visit www.testimonyofthetwowitnesses.com for more details.